What's up guys, it's Matt here, back with a special Mario Kart Tour video on my channel and I've got a special guest, welcome Sergeant Piana, so good to have you on the channel, uh, long time chill out on Discord friends, um, first time collaborators I think though, I think we met on a Kart Talk episode you were saying earlier right, um, so yeah, so good yeah, to have you did. here on the channel, um, welcome and um, tell us a little bit about yourself man, you're a YouTuber, you're a Mario Kart Tour player, what's your history in the game man? Yes, sir, bro. Uh, first, man, I really appreciate you having me, man. This is, you know, something we've been talking about for, uh, for a minute now, so it's uh, cool that we're finally yeah, doing this. Um, so, yeah, dude, appreciate you. But, um, yeah, with, so my history with the game, uh, you know, growing up, I played Mario Kart all my life. Um, I am not that old, so I didn't play Mario Kart 64. <laughs> when it first dropped, my, my first hey, Mario hey, Kart hey, was... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 no shade, bro. I'm not just, that old. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so, so i played double dash on the gamecube um really enjoyed that but so, you know i was so young at the time so i wasn't that good at it you know I played it casually and a mario kart ds um that was my favorite just because of um i remember i just really enjoyed rob the robot as a character because i knew he was in smash brothers and i'm like man this guy's a crazy character and then i just kept playing you know we was fantastic man funky kong was my favorite character in that game and then mario kart 7 was great Mario Kart 8, and now here we are, Corey. How could I not play Mario Kart Tour man. on the mobile, man? You know, I mean, you're a serial Mario Kart Tour player. That's awesome, man. And Double Dash, yes, man, sir. that's a tricky game. Um, recently, I set up. Yeah, I've got like a USB, con uh, like a Bluetooth controller, and I set it up on like an emulator, and I've never played it before. And man, the controls are, are pretty tricky to get. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely not an easy game to pick up and be good at. You know, unlike something like yeah. Mario Kart 8, where you could just if you just know how to use a controller or joy cons you could be decent at that so um yeah yeah double dash is definitely definitely trickier uh in entry in the series <laughs> yeah so um hmm. so tell us a little bit more about um your your love of the game mario kart tour um this has been an interesting few years are you a day one player have you been started like what really got you into it like what was the moment that you discovered the game and and what kept you playing yeah, sure. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm a day one player. Um, I when Mario Kart Tour was first announced, when they had like that little beta, um, I didn't play it, but I was just thinking, like, man, this is awesome. Like, because I'm a big mobile game player. Uh, it's just really convenient. You know, you can pull your phone out wherever you are. If you're, you know, at a waiting room somewhere, if you're at work on <laughs> yeah. a break, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be, you can pull your phone out and play a game. So the fact that they were doing that with Mario Kart was just, um, it was just really cool to me, man. Like, and I'm a big Mario fan. Um. You know, I played so many Mario games growing up, not Mario Kart, just uh, mainline games in the series, too. So, yeah. you know, I had to give it a shot. And um, I remember the day it came out, um, I was I was really big into Pokemon Go at the time. So yeah. Pokemon Go actually took a lot of my time um, on release, you know, and everyone was grinding it. And I'm playing it, and I'm like, all right, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I, I wasn't that, um, that fond of the controls at first just because – it's a, it's kind of tough to master at first, you know, to with the your get to get your lines proper and drifting and whatnot. So, yeah, yeah that was it, it. Was kind of um, you know I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the concept, but I was like ah, I don't know. But I remember I was actually in I was in college class and uh, you know big lectures boring. <laughs> so I'm sitting I'm, so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking it was I remember it was the last day of the first tour. So uh, the first tour I think was a New York tour. And I'm thinking, I'm like, man, should I, because I, you know, I, I've spent money on mobile games before, and I wasn't opposed to do it in Mario Kart. So I was like, should I get Gold Pass? It was the last day, because I had all these rewards save up. You know, you see the rubies just sitting there, waiting to get claimed. Yeah. And, you know, I, I was like, you know what, let me do They got it. you. So I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got the Gold Pass, and um, ever since then, man, I've been just playing it a lot. I got super big into it um, ever since that moment and it, it's just great man just the concept of the game and it really is a damn shame that they stopped making uh, new content for it because you know don't get me wrong there's so much that we got you know we got so many new retro tracks returning we had so many nitro tracks so many brand new characters that have never been in the series before but it's just like there's so much more that they could have done um they could have added a lot more battle tracks and i still i still have hope that maybe one day they'll come back to the game um maybe yeah. when the next mario kart comes out uh you know it's definitely high hopes we'll but, see, um, man. Better, yeah we'll see bro but yeah that's it man you know i i really do enjoy the game uh all the new stuff that they have you know the new carts and new gliders that they had they just look so sick and the costumes too 
all the mechanics too, like boomboxing and all that stuff. It's just it's fun, man. You know, we've never had a Mario Kart yeah, like man. it, and yeah, it's, it's so strategic. I hear so many people say, "Oh, you know, Mario Kart Nine has to have investment. It has to have like all this different strategy." I don't know. I, mm-hmm. I feel like we've experienced something here in this game that we might never see again. Which sounds sounds harsh. Sounds difficult to to you know difficult pill to swallow, but. I don't know like it's mm-hmm. such it's been like for me and so many others like i was um like i didn't play uh, the last game i played was half-life 2 in like I, I came to that like game pretty late i think i played it in like 2008 2009 and so i haven't really played right. games at all since that period of my life so that's like 10 over you know, basically over 10 years um that i didn't play any games whatsoever and then i just i, I literally downloaded mario kart tool because i was looking for a game um, my second um son was being born and i was like man i'm gonna be sitting on the couch holding this baby so for so much time and he's just gonna be like sleeping on me so what, what am i gonna do like i need something to entertain me on my phone so i was, I was looking for an emulator um, to play Mario Kart or something on my phone and I found Mario Kart Tour by accident I literally didn't what? know it was happening this was like a year into the game I, fit, I missed the first year um, I probably would have played if I'd known it um, and I would have got hooked just as, just like I did but yeah just, just the game absolutely grabbed me so yeah so it's so special and now we're in loot mode um, I know you alluded to that you know it's a bit of shame they're not bringing out new stuff so for you I see you've got um, in the shot that we saw before I saw that you had um, sneaker uh, it's quite a sneaker collection you've got you're into your shoes um and i also know that you're into pokemon uh the pokemon collecting cards what do do you call it yeah man yeah pc yeah um... so uh, it's great yeah pokemon i mean pokemon's awesome man um i used to collect pokemon cards back in the day and i found my old collection um well when i say back in the day i mean like from like 2014 you know i mean at this point 10 years ago so i guess it's pretty long ago but i you know i had some cards that are pretty valuable and um i didn't know anything i didn't know anything about it now you know like any like what sets are releasing you know what the cards look like i didn't know anything this um and this started i started recollecting back uh last year in january so exactly a year ago um and yeah man i mean the cards now are just fantastic like the artwork on them it's a lot more than just buying a pack like it was back in the day and getting um and getting like you know an ex like a shiny card it's like the artwork itself is like yeah. a whole story so that's kind of what, what uh drew me into it um but yeah and you also mentioned my sneakers uh yeah dude i'm huge in the sneakers that's something else like pokemon i used to be really uh, a lot more big into but i'm getting back into that now i actually just went to a sneaker event um i'm from jersey so i went to a sneaker event for new in new york wow. um <laughs> okay yeah about a week and a half ago yeah it's awesome and you know people go there selling and buying shoes um i bought a pair of shoes that i've been trying to get for a long time um you know it, it was just it's like a grail they call it like you know one of your personal favorites um so <laughs> something I, it's like a yeah, whole it's, other it's world right <laughs> yeah exactly exactly it's something i've wanted for a while so i was um really happy that i finally got that pair um but yeah man so just a couple other hobbies besides mario kart tour that uh you know i'm into um yeah so it's yeah so yeah so i probably should have done this earlier but we're here to chat about your um strategy in the game and and talk about that and talk a little bit about loot mode and how that might be affecting um that and and things like that so we're gonna um, jump into some more questions um with sanjit pianta and learn all about him and then i've got a whole bunch of uh token pipes to share with you so we'll we'll have a laugh um sanjit pianta's role in all of that is to laugh at me when i get really bad luck um or (laughs) or hype me up if i get really good luck so we'll see what happens at the end of the episode so stay tuned for some pipe balls guys and make sure to hit the like button hit subscribe um we're we're still growing as a channel which is really cool i know that my channel i haven't been posting nearly as many videos as i was doing before loot mode um it's it's summer here i've been enjoying um taking a step back a little bit you know just letting the loot mode kind of kind of sit and um yeah enjoying the sunshine over here in new zealand but um yeah so the channel's here to stay we'll still be doing the the stream um i think it's tomorrow you know in 
basically 18 hours uh the stream nice. for the new tour so you, you'll see uh, me and flow there on on the channel so yeah make sure make sure you're, sub, you're subscribed um and also while i'm at it make sure you're subscribed to sergeant pianta's channel um i'll make sure to share a link in the description down below um so you've been doing some videos just mainly the reaction videos i think at this stage right um of the new tour just yeah, checking man. your loadouts yeah. um yeah uh, that's i'll do this we pitch subscribe to sergeant pianta's channel if you like um really unhinged reactions to the rank loadouts because <laughs> <laughs> it you, cracks me up every tour man your reactions are so funny <laughs> yeah you, either you're just like stoked that you got like a really good buff or it's all oh, garbage yeah. and you're just like you're just like nah i hate this game <laughs> Yeah, so I, I know, dude. I'm like, I'm like so bipolar about it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. It's um, Thank yeah, you, yeah. <clears throat> uh, pr probably R18. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> if, if there was a worse rating than R, that's probably yeah. what it would be. <laughs> okay. If there's uh, anybody, uh, anybody that wants to hear some uh, some bad stuff come out of my mouth, you could you could watch those reactions <laughs> on my channel. And I appreciate the shout out, bro. Yeah, man. so I've I've got your um account here up on the screen. You can see some of your nice. your mad investments here, some of your awesome drivers, your um some some pretty cool stuff. And I see that you've got a lot of um drivers, carts, and gliders. So would you classify yourself as a collector? I know with the sneakers and with the Pokemon, you know, are you a bit of a collector with Mario Kart? Like, is that something that keep drawing you in? Like, I've got to pull these pipes and get all these items, or are you mainly only interested in the really meta items, the ones that are like great for ranked and the ones that have you know plus skill drivers and and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah so you know it's a good question man so at first when we still had pipe holes when we would, you know gacha pipes when we would get these items out of pipes rather than buying them in the uh in the shop um i did try to get most of them um but now since they're in the shop i don't really i don't really try to collect all of them i mean yeah i do have a solid amount but there's still so many um yeah. actually there's actually not many drivers i don't have i um, i have every me um there's actually maybe like all seven right. I oh yeah you could see my drivers yeah i forgot you could um yeah i, I think i'm pretty yeah so i know i don't want to, it's three four yeah for the most part i have a lot of drivers um oh yeah, yeah all right there's pretty, way more this, than that this is pretty stacked out though man that's um i think you've got i've got a lot more gaps than you i think holy moly man you've got yeah, so many not... drivers i don't <laughs> yeah, think it's, I have, it's like, nothing all really the doctors in that at all sorry man I just got lucky pulling them. Nah, it's all good, man. I just got lucky pulling them, dude. To be honest with you, um, it's nothing really that I that I bought in the shop. Like everything there, especially like not the meta items, like non plus skill drivers. It's kind of just stuff that I came across, maybe in a you know a random uh, gift pipe or anything like that. But yeah, the me's I bought all the me's. Um, I was kind of late on the party to get all the me's. I didn't buy them all at first. Um, yeah. maybe a couple months ago or a month or two ago was when I got the last me. You know, because as a as i guess i, I want to call myself a whale because i don't really i don't spend as much as i used to <laughs> and we get a whale right behind me by the way <laughs> oh wait it's on the side <laughs> i'm split so yeah we got, i'm not a whale i'm not a whale but not a whale um, but this is <laughs> not a whale, but that's a whale. <laughs> no but um but yeah so i used to um i spent a lot of money in the game but not anymore man you know because i have a lot of stuff that i already need if there was more uh stuff coming out like more new drivers cars and gliders then it'd be a different story i probably would be buying a lot more but um now we're just you know we're kind of just chilling i have so many rubies saved up as well i'm looking at my account right now that's why i'm looking on my i'm looking down um yeah so it's like i wish they would bring back new stuff because i got so many rubies to <laughs> yeah man yeah rubies are now just a stat an extra coin stash for coin rush really exactly, that's, that's, that's what it's come exactly. down to so yeah yeah okay so um so th that's cool man and um so tell me like we were i know we were chatting about your investment strategy a little bit on discord and 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 you had said to me that studfit had said about your strategy that like you're insane right um so yeah, do you want to can you walk us through like how you eyeball items? Like, I don't know exactly. You have to explain, you walk me through the, I kind of have an idea of what you're talking about, but like talk me through how you've got, how have you got through like multiple years of the game without using a tracker? Like I would not have survived. Um, like, so, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I just, so I just never really felt the need to, man. 
because at first i was kind of just investing into items off the limb you know like out of nowhere like the blazing eagle came out i took the seven triple off the bat ended up being one of the best cards in the game ape it one up i invest into that off the bat and it'll become one of the best gliders in the game so it's like stuff like that i've just i've honestly just gotten lucky with man like so there's items like the spooky sprinkles that i've been that i took the eight quad off the bat and they haven't really been that great they right. have picked up a couple tracks but they haven't been great but um yeah you know um thank god that we have like bot commands in discord and some of the servers where you could put in like Right. what uh, items are top shelf on tracks because, you know, I, I look for that in all the future rank cups. I see what items um, come up. And obviously, you know, there's some that are uh, way more useful than others. So that's kind of what right. I've been, been going off again. But, you know, there are so many items that I've never invested into that would have helped me so much. But um, it's like I have a list of um, just stuff that I'm planning on investing into. By the end of the game's uh, like you know, we don't know what's gonna happen after the loop, but uh, assuming that the game it's it's done, then there are a list of items that I do plan on being a quad at the end of that. Just yeah, I have so many car carts and gliders, um, and even drivers too, man. But the thing is, is that there's some something new comes up that I'm like, oh, this would be great, and just throws everything off. Like yeah. for example, like the like the Wiggler Misu, I never, um, I never like expected to invest into that but now it's been like so good i know next tour it's gonna be really good in the exploration tour so it's like yeah. i was gonna take the pd me to eight quad next tour but now i'm like contemplating like oh man should i do this so yeah what i'm saying is that i've just gotten lucky bro the tracker definitely would have helped me out um but i do you know <laughs> overall you, you do know kind of um you know since we've been playing the game a while we know what we want we want coin boxers we want boom boxers and we want me's at this point so that's kind yeah, of what i think um just i'm gonna do a sales pitch for you here uh for, yes. for ticket time so um so i think one thing i'd say like my glider game is pretty much done which is kind of a crazy thing yeah. to say but my, my gliders are completely almost completely maxed like on every track not every wow. single track but they are so high level that like six double is bad like that's that's where my glider <laughs> oh, game is at right now well, i think and, the same way too though <laughs> yeah yeah and i think there's no what yeah for me how i did that was using trackers and specifically ticket time has been really amazing because like i'll give you an example um this tour i actually bought what even is that glider called um the the one that looks like a plane glider but it's called something oh, really stealth, random the stealth glider i think thank you thank you yeah the yeah, stealth, stealth glider so i bought that and there's no way i it, like i've never looked at that glider i don't like the way it looks i don't like the banana skill it's a stupid name i've never looked at it on track i've never needed it but right now it's number one in my ticket time rankings and so it's forced wow. me to look at it so i've looked at it and what i've realized is i've got only like five tracks where i don't have a good level glider and so taking that thing to say six double I th i'm not sure what the recommendation was but something like that would already give me five tracks for ranked uh, for the oh, whole wow. of loot mode and so that's that's kind of like the like the how to close gap so that's really key for me is thinking like okay and so really then it's just a get a game of like okay if i've got all these spare glider tickets i've got nothing else to spend them on um and i've got this glider here which i take it to whatever level it's going to give me five courses i should probably just do that like is the is the spend worth the you know is it is it worth the cost um right, and, right. and i guess it is because there's nothing else to invest into so <laughs> so that's what helps yeah. me out i'm um, same with my free-to-play account i just bought the um you know i'm invested in a lot of it it's free to play but i've got you know blazing eagle leveled up black shield speedster some of these kind of carts yeah, um, right, right. and i just bought the um oh what is it the jumbo jetta which i think you're in, are you invested in the jumbo jetta no, I'm not, dude, but I've been uh -huh. looking at that for so long because there's a lot of tracks that it comes up on that I that I have, yeah, you know, man. so like you said, six double is considered, like, bad at this point for, like, players like us. So there's stuff where I have six double and, like, drivers and cards, and drivers and gliders, I have, like, eight quads. So I'm like, oh, man, I wish yeah. I had, like, something higher to match it. And the jumbo jetter is always there. So, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's something that, like you said, it's been coming up a lot, dude, but um, I don't even have it. I don't even have it. Uh, but, I, you know, I could buy it in the shop if it was to come up but um yeah yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's good man it's sneaky yeah and i see you've got the black um b dash mark ii over here invested there for tokyo blue 40 such a nice cut and i am um, Flo, like just to illustrate this point he he when we were chatting on the live stream last um last week he was saying like ah oh, you know um 
it, it was coming up a couple of times when ranked and he's like, ah, oh, maybe I need to invest into it. Maybe this is the tour. And then he really needed the extra points. Otherwise he's going to get demolished and ranked. So he took it from level, like I think unobtained or level one, he took it all the way to eight quad. And so wow. um, that strategy is so good because then what you're doing is you're lifting up the coverage. Like even if there's overlaps, you're kind of defeating the overlaps of anything that's at six double or even seven yeah, triple or whatever absolutely. else. Yeah. So yeah, it, um, dude, tell it's us. So good. It's so good. I'm sorry. Um, they're they're sure. trying to make. I feel like they're the Black Mark too, man. They're giving it like the best tracks. Like they're giving it where like yeah, I, I feel like purposely though, because like usually like from from what i've seen at least they give you know there's always like a track or two or three or four that a car gets that's like bad it has a it usually has a another big card on it for example like there's a couple tracks where the red off-roader and blazing eagle got overlap but dude the black yeah. mark too it's getting like it is getting like just unique after unique after unique of stuff that yeah, just man. people don't have invested in a lot you know because i'm seeing it coming up so much this tour just because yeah. it's, it's big with the cities and it's it's great, man. It's so good, and the fact that it still has a lot to see is just crazy. It's probably going to be the top card in the game by the end of the loop. I guess it will be, yeah. And I yeah. I, um, I am one cart ticket, uh, one cart cap ticket short of quad capping it this tour. Oh. And I was gutted because I'm using it at eight triple, and I was like, ah, oh, I wanted an eight quad, so I, I just uh, need one more cart cap. Um, so the hope is today I can pull. In the token and I, yeah, the problem is I already grinded the course, so I, I got a double lucky seven frenzy. So we, we probably uh, won't go back into the course, but you know um, that's that's my score there, fifty five k on on Tokyo Blair forty. Oh yeah, um, you, didn't even, you didn't even play the other one yet. No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I'm already. Yeah, I just need to get a score on Singapore Speedway and and, I, and I'm done. So yeah. Um, so uh, tell us a little bit more about um, some of those items that you've got on your list. So you mentioned you've got an, a list. One of my questions I had down here, I'm really keen to know, like, you know, are there any items that you've held off on investing for for a long time? And now that we're into loot mode and, you know, you've got these items like the Black B Dasher Mark II, a gr great example of that. You've got no more new items. So it, yeah. it makes sense to pour all your tickets into that one item because, and you can just ride that wave like we have with Ranked. And if it continues to get that Nintendo buffing favor you're talking about, that's great. But what about the other items that kind of have always been there, but you've never invested into? Mine, as an example, would be Santa Me. I never invested um, a year ago. The moment that Santa Me came back, I was waiting. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally came back. I got him, maxed him out. Boom, there we go. He's now just like top driver, like just amazing. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. So what about for he's you, great. man? Like maybe some carts and gliders or any drivers that you've been yes yeah, so yeah so um for gliders definitely the yellow hard hat balloon man i mean i oh wow yeah yeah i've passed up on that bro but it, it's up it comes up so much dude so much um but it's, it's realistically i don't know if i'll ever get around to investing into it unless unless like you said there's if there's a point where because each tour, I kind of look at what's in rank. I focus on rank the most, um, rather than like ACR all around. So if there's yeah. if it comes up like twice in rank, where I don't have a plan to invest in any ladder that tour, then sure I'll invest into it. But I don't I don't even know if that'll be the case. Um, so yeah, that has been really good. Um, I'm looking right now, man, and there's just like. You know, there's so many <laughs> options, dude. I've seen because there really is. There's a you know, there's so much that I've passed up on. Um, but I, I get by pretty good without it. I feel like gliders, I'm decent. But this this tour is rough, as you can see. I got the uh, the silver manta and the tropical balloons. Yeah. That's something that I'm probably will take a quad eventually. Yeah. Um, yeah. this tour though, this this tour I took the Wario's mustache and wonderful garnet the seven triple. Um, right. just because I yeah yeah I but. I kind of regret doing Wario's mustache, but that comes up a lot for me. So I figured I would just do that because that, that was on the list. Um, but yeah, man, I think that might be it for gliders. The yellow harp hat is the one that just really sticks out the most for me. I'm um, yeah. also the 8-bit yeah. super mushroom. You get super mushroom. I, I have a five double and I've never, it, it's been like, it had a little dry streak, but then out of nowhere, it had like a resurgence last year and it just came back. And it like, people were, had it at eight quad for ACR, and that was a great one. So that's something that's probably going to stay. And then moving on the carts, I feel like the Rainbow Taxi is something definitely that I've seen. Interesting. Uh, a lot of people okay. invest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Rainbow Taxi, it seems, seems decent on my account. It gets a lot of, you know, it, it's had a lot of decent tracks. And um, the Swift Talon, too, man. 
I feel like that has been it just like the jumbo jetter that's also been yeah. getting some tracks that um not many people have great carts on for example you know it's just yeah i think um, the um, jumbo jet is a bit newer now so the swift talon i was looking at that for both my counts and um for the free to play and specifically it has more gaps to close um and it turned mm -hmm. out that jumbo jet ended up jumping to number one on my ticket time ranking so that was obviously the one to go for with the amount of courses that it gave me so uh, i don't know if you you know how ticket time works but essentially what it does is it works out so you, I, I set it to almost 100 percent ranked score base right and it looks at mm -hmm. the whole of loop mode and goes okay what course Courses, um, do we need to cover and if you invested into this item to this level like theoretically what would the scoring difference be or the scoring potential difference be and then it right, ranks right. items like that and so mm -hmm. jumbo jetta will give me the most score for loot mode and i think swift talent dropped back to like number 10 so i was like yeah uh, now's no. the time to make a move and i think what happens is once i've invested into jumbo jetta i put my inventory back through ticket time ticket time will decrease the value of a lot of those other items again so that's kind of how it works um man i need to figure out how to twist your arm so i can uh, i really want to look at your inventory and go yeah, cool you, you know, oh, ticket I, time says yellow hard bat to eight four let's do it <laughs> i know man i know Join I, the wish, game. I, I wish i could bro you know what you're actually kind of putting me on some right now so i'm looking at my account right now i got i got yeah. it open right here and i'm on my cards and the jumbo jetter is in my shop today and Ooh. i think i'm just gonna buy it so i have it because i don't even have it so you know what you're gonna put me on man i'm gonna buy it right now because i have so like i said i have so many rubies and if it if it comes up next tour man i mean i i can invest because i do have card tickets i could have taken the black mark two to eight quad but um yeah I if you don't use a tracker um one way you can look at overlaps so something you can do is i think if you put uh, i think in the acr bot there's like a way to now put an item in and see yes the overlaps. I, I saw that. yeah so I, definitely I've do that, that before that. you before you make that decision because you might find because you've got a lot of um high level cut like i see you've got the dolphin drifter i don't know mm -hmm. what the overlaps are like for the jumbo um jetta um it yeah, would just I think, depend I on that a, i think it does have a few but um yeah so i know that next tour i don't really need to invest into um any carts um i'm looking right. right now um i think i might be a quad across the board for every rank track wow um All right. yeah let me yeah dude i'm you know, again, yeah. super lucky. Uh, Blue Crawley has been great. Yeah, so on the first track, trying to play in Cove, I got Blue Crawley. And then I got the Red Off-Roader on Sunset Wilds. And then I got the Blazing Eagle and the Boo Pipes on Prana Plant Cove 2. So for rank week one, I'm all set for cards. That's A quad, A quad, A quad. Then next, the second week, I got the Blue Crawley on Prana Plant Cove 2R. So that's maxed. And then I got Mumu Off-Roader and Dolphin Drifter for Riverside Park, A quad. And then once again the blue crawley so a quad wow. yeah so for courts yeah so but what i'm saying is that um nice. i could if, if i did need to best into the jumbo jetter say it had a couple tracks on acr that i was low on a car I, i'll totally do it dude like i'm not opposed to like doing something like that like taking something from like one to seven or one to eight if i really need to um i just don't know really right now what um what it would be you know i feel like the yellow hard hat would definitely be a top contender and yeah. like you said man jumbo jetter too dude it's it's a cool car and something with my account too i kind of like being um i kind of like being a little bit unique with it i mean there are you know obviously there's like meta items that are better yeah. than others but something like the jumbo jetter not many people have invested in it i don't see really much um i'm sure it's a, like a lot of the whales do but like for like a regular player i, I don't see many people invest into it so to have it at eight quad it would just be right. kind of like a flex. you know it kind of be a flex <laughs> absolutely man that's really yeah. cool so thanks for um that insight into your account um I, I guess i've just got like one more topic i want to dive into which is loot mode sure. we can have a chat about that and then let's pull some pipes let's finish the episode out there so um tell me about your motivation level like i know for me um i'm still playing the game every single day but motivation to i don't know like go out of my way with the game like some days i'll be like i'm gonna put this on auto -cl i don't know if you use auto clicker but i'll put it on the auto clicker yeah. and i'll just go out and i just won't mm -hmm. and then i'll come back and i'll be like okay and and unfortunately that what can happen then is i don't send friend coins and then flow gives me a hard time for not sending him friend coins um <laughs> but um, no, no, i'm the, but, I'm the same like, oh, man. 
yeah so so how is your motivation level for the game knowing that it could fully end in the next year or two um and that there's no new items to look forward to so aside from that the game is still exactly what it was you know there's so much content that they put into the loop to make Mm -hmm. it enjoyable so so i feel like that's the positive side but then on the negative side it's like okay the game could end at any time and there's nothing new to look forward to like has your motivation like dipped has it dipped and then come back has Mm -hmm. it just come down a few points and it's going to stay down like where are you at with all of that yeah, so I mean, motivation is definitely trapped, bro. Like right now, like I have, I have 35, 35 notifications on my on my friends list, which is, I mean, I don't really do that. You know, I, I usually send coins every day. I usually accept the coins, and there's even been times where I haven't even played uh, the daily the today's challenge after I do all all of the um after I complete every cup, like play every day till I uh, have those. So, it, you know, it's definitely died down, man. But um, I don't really think it's because of um, it's because of like the the loop or me knowing that the game is probably going to end soon. I feel like it's just because I've been like on so much other stuff lately. You know, like I said, dude, I've been like, like with the shoes, man, and just everything <laughs> and work and stuff like that. It's like, yeah. it's so hard to like, to like be so into so many things and give time, like especially someone like Mario Kart, dude, because like, um it's it's definitely time consuming when you want to play rank cup and get like a, like the best score you could get like 100 percent yeah or um or even if you're trying to do acr but I, I do play a lot i play a lot for sure um i do grind the track so while my motivation has dipped um i still play a lot uh, i do enjoy it and uh it's probably gonna it's i don't think it's gonna go any lower than it is now you know i'm probably just gonna be right um you know probably just gonna be how i am with it you know it is what it is man the game um you know we're not gonna get any new items which is super unfortunate but you know who knows what's what's uh what they have in store for down the line you know you never really know man maybe i don't even need new items matt if they just gave us like new (laughs) tours just like new tours like just mix it up yeah just mix it up a little bit you know give bring back like some of the older tracks that we haven't seen in a while um like for example like i feel like it's been so long since we have coconut mall like yeah when that when it's that track coming. came out it's coming in the loop but it's coming yeah. Soon. yeah it's coming soon but like when that track came out it was like every tour every tour <laughs> so same with wario shipyard and it's like now we're not getting them and it's like man like tracks man, like that I think, they, it, I think even further back like bring back the days when we had all of um you know just just like um uh choco choco island choco and island, like, yeah, uh, was, like this might be a controversial opinion but those were good days like i enjoyed that like when we had royal raceway all the time just every oh, yeah. every tour um absolutely yeah cool man um that that's cool yeah i think i'm the same i think for me yeah sometimes it's um it's, it's actually less about motivation it's more about more about time like i feel like i can yeah, pull back exactly. a little bit on time um i think for me like the multi oh my gosh like last last tour i had to complete multiplayer challenges on two accounts in the last day and it was so rough i was like oh my gosh so i I don't know like i i I feel like the one thing that they've really missed like you know they should have looped sending coins like just give us yeah, a send all for the agree. greeting coins button because that's that's a that feels like a complete chore multiplayer right. at least you're like a real fan of multiplayer it feels like a chore now um just like yeah, even so. fill it, finishing the challenge you're like oh is it worth it but of course you got to get all the grand stars to open up the right. rewards so yeah of it course. is what it is I have, that's absolutely right i mean i you know i couldn't agree more like with the that's why i have 30 now 36 someone else sent me a coin <laughs> that's why i have all these notifications it's just because it takes like four minutes to send all it's so like <laughs> slow it's like it, like you said if they could just give a send all button and with the yeah, challenges man. stuff like play auto mode or do this do that it's like come on man like just give it to me at this point you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah like, and even I, the daily challenge uh, pipe has been a pain because like i set it up on auto clicker but then i have to come back and turn off the auto clicker and then play the daily challenge and then turn it back on or something like that so yeah right, right. um man, exactly. we've got so much to be happy about and we've got so much to complain about but um it's been know, great having God. you on man let's um let's let's Thank go and you, um have continue to have a yarn and pull some token shop pipes how about that yes let's let's see let's see what you got yeah yeah so wish me luck i need that sergeant pianta luck um you you can just invest into blazing eagle without even knowing it's gonna be good man like i've never had oh, that luck I mean, go buy a lot t- go buy like a lottery ticket or something yeah, go know. buy a Do couple you- scratch offs and yeah. you know 
<laughs> hope, hope you get something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're not starting good. So we got garbage from the first part. We got a second green. Wait, so you need you need Come a cart cap. I need a cart cap ticket. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. Cart cap ticket. I, I, is feel, going straight I, feel to play. I feel like I feel like cart and glider caps are pretty. They're pretty common in here, I guess. Um, I feel like oh. Here we go, baby. Come is on. This is the moment. Of course. Oh, oh, that, that's rare, oh, that's though, a skill. Dude. Skill. Wow. Yeah, it's a skill. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty All tough right. to pull, man. The odds on that are low. That's cool. All right. Yeah, of course, it has to be a glider skill, which are worth not very much to me these days. In fact, I think a glider cap would actually be worth more now. Which is crazy Probably, to say. Yeah. Yeah. Right after you saying that you have all gliders max on yeah, your yeah, trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a couple more. Like, I want to do the Sakura Origami. I took that to six double. Yeah, I, see, I, I see that too, man. A lot of people got that. Yeah, it's one of those kind of background, like, city gliders for ACR that mm -hmm. is good to have. Um, level. It's a cool looking glider too. Mm. What's your ruby counter, man? I'm 455. Uh, so I actually had 640, but I just bought the jumbo jetter. So now I got oh, 540. Wow. Yeah, so I got 540 right now. So not not bad. Yeah. And then um, I've been I've been doing coin rush a lot. So I've almost With never had over to... 400 rubies. Like I, I was like pipe days. Nah, man. Like it was it's going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, and nowadays, like oh, yeah. yeah, I've been using it a lot. And it, at some points, had no rubies. But yeah. Um, once that ruby counter mm -hmm. gets too high, it's going to be probably time to cancel the gold pass. Yeah, probably, man. It's uh, you know sad to say, but just just what it is now. By the way, dude, they, I hate getting these. Uh, the what are they? The normal driver cap tickets in here. I don't even know why they put in like. Why did they even put those in here? I know that they're, they're the worst resource in the game. I wish I could trade them in for like one oh coin God. each. You know, like I don't care, like five oh, coins. No, yeah, like... you got like a thousand of them. You know, yeah. I mean, I would rather, I'd rather take anything, anything else than those. Because like, especially when you're at like the five hundred mark. Oh, that's nice some coins. Yeah. <clears throat> I love. Come on, um, you gotta now... get deep. Yeah, come on. We need, to, we need to get back on track. We need a gold here. Wrong color gold. <laughs> yeah, wrong bullet. Um... <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like how they've got these balloons, right? Because then you can, um, you get a thousand coins every time. Is it a thousand? A couple thousand? Yeah, um, it's a thousand, yeah. It, well, it used to be like 300, I think, so it's cool that they upped it. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely mm -hmm. a good change. Come on, Pipes. Yeah, come it's on. been pretty lackluster since that glider ticket, man. I think something cool is going to come up right here. Come on. <laughs> Maybe some rubies. Maybe some rubies. Hey, coins, I'll take right, coins. Coins aren't bad. Yeah, yeah. coins aren't bad. Coins are, coins are Coins, rubies, and then the cap tickets are what you want. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Oh, you see? Those things are just sick Those... to get. Oh, Sorry, my God. Man. <laughs> we got to take them out, Here bro. we go. Here we go, finally. Second goal. Second goal, baby. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Car cap. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, driver, that's good. That's good though. Yeah, maybe I can get the full that's set. Good. Oh, yeah, the first we'll one see, was man. a skill, so. Mm. Oh um, yeah, you're right. You, you still have a lot of pipes though, so. I, th I think you'll get another one. Let's hope so. Oh, there's those. One. Let's see what we got right here. Come on. I'm in sweep. I think it was coins. I think I saw the coin counter go up on your screen. There we go. Yeah. Hey, I love this picture. Actually, I'm going to screenshot this. I just love um, to like this red toad in this truck. Like, how awesome is that? Yeah, no. You, you know, I've never actually noticed that. That is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember first noticing. I was like, wow, that's a cool image. And then, like, you cannot find yeah. that on Google. So, I, I need to post that somewhere yeah, so like people can find it. For the game. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah they do have some pretty cool renders um for the game like like background renders and stuff like that it's like stuff that you really like wouldn't expect to like look at and it's actually pretty sick stuff there's incredible <clears throat> assets in this game it's probably one of the coolest things like how much like research and development and um you know continual development went into this game it's kind of unheard of really yeah seriously man i mean for something like this to 
to happen. It's like, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Korean. I need that. On, I need that on my free to play account. You know, if I could trade yeah. over all of these resources, man, to the free to play account, oh, dude, I would I do it. I would do it. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope we get a fake one. I hope we get a fake uh, a fake gold pipe. So it's green, but it's actually a gold. I hope we get one of those. Okay, if the pipe luck is bad, the whole like the rest of the time, if it's bad, we're gonna have to do something to make things better. So we're gonna go pull some multiplayer pipes because definitely, you know bro, we definitely. can't finish out on, on a bad note. No way. I, I, I've been saving and saving <laughs> um, my multiplayer pipes. I, I must have like 120 or 150 or something. Oh really? Some rubies. Yeah, man. Oh, you got over you, you, you're probably. You're probably Oh, you're probably gonna get it, dude. You're probably gonna get it. If you don't, that's criminal. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Right here. Right here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Here we go. Yes, baby. <laughs> let's go. With 10, 10 to it. go. See if we can get anything else. There we good. go. I'll, I'll do black. I'll um, quad cap black B dash on screen just, just for the sake of it. Even though I don't need Three. it for rank this week Three. now. But I mean, I can always regrind the course if I need to, but I don't need more points. Oh man, that's yeah. awesome, dude. I'm happy, I'm happy you got it, man. I'm happy you got it. <laughs> yes, we got that luck. It's probably just because you're Sweet. here. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know. I have, I have pretty bad luck myself. Well, maybe together, <laughs> that's what did it. Maybe yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it doesn't go the other way and like our lack of luck combines to be the worst luck ever. <laughs> yeah, oh god, I hope not. <laughs> I, I have so many of those... Um, the point boost tickets man for each thing i have like 600 for glider like 500 Same for carts it's like dude it is like just I, I wish they would give you like like you said i wish i had like an option where you could like trade some in for coins like that would be insane yeah they would have given another <laughs> like level of investment strategy to the game like early on because imagine like people like trading all of the stuff in to get coins to buy high-end tickets from the tier shop versus mm -hmm. say saving up and getting all the normals maxed out to then unlock more tickets um right, that could have been right, a right. really like i think they should have done some kind of trade-in system um yeah, er, even earlier on because it would make sense for now but it would have even made sense back then i think mm -hmm. um, yeah i wish they wish they did something also where you could like um exchange stuff with other players like if you could like send stuff to other players like yeah not necessarily i mean Seed maybe gifts, even right yeah, send gifts here. Maybe like um, and like Ooh. if you send oh another Let's one. Let's go. Final one. Here we go. So we got four, one. four goals and yeah, a bunch of coins, four. bunch of rubies. Nice, another one. Sweet. Let's go. Wait, so another, another one. one. Two. <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, one but two. All right, there we go. Great. Awesome. Yeah. So nice, let's, let's let's cap this cart. Yeah. So here's my ticket stash. So we got tons of those point boost tickets. Oh yeah, you, oh man, you got a lot of gold. Um, you got a lot of gold. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of super uh, glider tickets, man. Yeah, I mean my my super glider tickets are maxed. So. Um, oh wow, you have ever you have all super gliders to max. So those are just extra. Yeah. Oh wow, dude, that's crazy. That's a lot. I think there's. I think the only uh, super glider I don't have max is the plaid ribbon. The ah. plaid ribbon. You yeah, should I think max it's the only... that because um, well, I think. I, that you get another category open yeah i i think um i'm like i'm level it's level seven and maybe like eight out of 16 so it's like halfway oh. but uh i'm just whenever i get tickets i put them towards it so it's it's because uh, i don't have enough tickets yeah, yeah. So uh, i'm yeah. still so waiting you need eight tickets so yeah let's hope I wish you can you get those. Two of those bro yeah i wish i could <laughs> i would send you i would send you the lot <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do it guys so we've got go, yeah okay. and i've got actually quite a lot of um driver cap tickets too so the caps are starting yeah, to great. build up as well um oh 13 oh yeah yeah i got one more that's you right one cool. extra, yeah all right so let's let's quad cap this baby where is, where is it so cool there all right sweet let's do it. nice man boom so good yeah, that's so good. That's awesome, man. Yeah. There we um, go. Eight what a car. Wow. What a car. That is awesome, man. Can't ask for much more than that. <clears throat> should we um should we do a couple of multiplayer pulls before we go? 
I, I'm think? down, man. I'm down if you want. I'm yeah. down for sure. Well, while the luck's flying, let's, um, yeah, let's, let's do it. Absolutely. Let's All do right. it. Multiplayer. Let's, <clears> let's <throat> pull, pull until, um, well, let's do, let's do five, five team pulls. How about okay, that? Okay, cool. Let's go to me, man. Let's do five. Yeah. I feel like usually you get pretty, pretty solid stuff at a multiplayer, um, yeah. at a multiplayer. Oh, you got a gold one, so. Starting with gold? It could be a, a balloon, of course. Yeah, the balloons are gold, but you know, it's a guaranteed thousand coins, so not too shabby. That's right. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go, there's a balloon. Boom. That is What's my up, favorite, boom? dude. That is... Yeah, that's my Let's favorite go. balloon, by the way. It's, it's cool, because it's actually a balloon color. I like that. Right, right, right. It's not just like a sticker on a red balloon, like that's yeah, dumb. Yeah, it's like actual blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roy. Cool. Yeah, get a lot of that. yeah oh quick ticket i keep tapping We're i don't know solid. how to pull pipes anymore <laughs> 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 thousand coins all right nice man yeah you're getting a, getting a good amount of coins out of these quick tickets yeah, are average, great average value is pretty good right um, yeah for sure let's do another one all right here we go second goal sweet Let's see. Man, Maybe this brings back uh, memories, eh? What's your favorite pipe pulling memory in the game? Ooh, man. That's a good question, bro. That is a great question. Um, I might need to think about that a little bit. So my so my favorite driver to be added was Meowser. Um oh, yeah. I I called that he was gonna get added. Because when we used to do like when they used to do on the Twitter um the track on like the Thursday, they would here's a sneak peek of the of the next tour, and then they would show the trailer on Friday. When when it was 3DS Bowser's Castle, I was like, dude, it's gonna be Meowser. I called it. I was like, we have all the cats. I was like, it's gotta be Meowser. And I remember opening the image in the morning and seeing Meowser, I was pumped, dude. So, so I think that might have been a dude, I was so that so was... and when he had coin, yeah, when he had coin box, I was like, This is just fantastic. So, I was man, that was like one of the best weeks of my life. <laughs> you know, like that was just like that was just like dude, that was great. That was peak was so Mario Kart tour. Like honestly, like yeah, the whole really community was, was so hyped. And so the Kamek tour, like man, people were so hyped. It was so good. That was um, the peak, dude. Yeah, that that really was, man. We would get those new to me personally, I'm I'm a big fan of like the villain drivers. So like I wish we got a couple more Bowser ults. Um so that's why I was super excited with Meowser because the thing that I like, yeah. so it's like we get Meowser and, but we have like Cat Mario, we have Cat Peach, Cat Rosalina. And it's just, for them, it's just like a cat suit. But with Meowser and the Cat <laughs> Bell, it like changed. Like he is like, he's like a full on <laughs> cat. Dude. So that's why I like, and I played Mario 3D World. So oh, yeah, I remember yeah. like when he, I was so, bro, I was so excited. <laughs> bro, just seeing him with people... coin box was yeah and i remember like and i've watched like rewatch people's like streams and stuff around that time and people are like he should have got the oh really he got coin box he should have got the cat bell blah 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 i'm like what are you talking about like yeah, we just got we just got the coolest freaking looking driver ever like they've redeemed yeah, cats <laughs> yes, and he's yes. got coin box he made, like, he, cats look good. he made the cats look good man and he has yeah, the man. best skill in the game was just yeah, but that, that that was peak Mario Kart Tour for sure, bro. All those, it's great memories, you know? It really did give us great memories. Just, I remember just opening up Twitter to the Kamek Tour is next. I was like, there's no way that they're actually adding Kamek. And then that seeing him cool, in the background, dude, that it was, was like so awesome. Cool. And then just getting yeah. drivers too, like Pucci and Charge and Shock that have never been in Mario Kart Tour. It was just like, it was not, I'm sorry, not Mario Kart Tour. They've never been in a Mario Kart series. It was just awesome to see them finally come to the game, you know? So um, I missed the first year of the game and I missed Santa Bowser. And then at the end mm -hmm. of the second year of the, I must have been, was it the second year of the game? I think so. Um, I think it was 2021, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I, I went hard into that um, Christmas pipe and I was like, right, I'm getting Santa Bowser. I'm going to take him to six double. Like he's going to be my my ride or die and um oh, yeah. and i got him in like the first like 10 pull or something like that and i was this like oh, just great. this is insane took him up like loving it and then just after that i think it was it just after that meowza came out i'm not sure maybe that was it was a year later anyway it was amazing I, yeah, it, was, it was a year it was a year later i remember but yeah. you know regardless man i mean that's that's awesome to get him the first 10 pull dude yeah 
and then my other my other insane one which is actually my first if you go back to my um youtube channel my first upload that was a mario kart tour video i've got some older videos which are not mario kart tour related Uh, my first one was a Mm -hmm. pipe pull video where i say can i get the yellow off-roader in one ten pull and so what i did it was insane like i had more rubies but i i kind of said like can i get it in just like the first couple of pulls and i do one ten pull on that pipe so it was like a second like yellow off-roader was still really rare it was like the yoshi tour or something like that i think it was week two i'd spent all my rubies on the first week um and got yoshi gold egg i had to go to the bottom of the pipe it was terrible and he turned out to be really oh. bad which is just nasty but anyway um yeah. yes the second week I, re- I think it was the second week i wanted the yellow off-roader i did one 10 pull and i got the yellow off-roader in the first 10 pull and i just like again like maxed that thing out like it was just so good um and at at those days like only the whales had the yellow off-roader most people didn't Mm -hmm. because you couldn't justify getting into that pipe it was you know they were really quite clever with the how they put put, um like one week was like an item you really needed like a coin box a new coin box driver and then the second Mm -hmm. week was like a cart that you really needed but you can only get it if you've got 100 like 450 rubies or whatever it was so yeah yeah, that was that was a special moment we'll do one last team fire here we go sorry sorry, go ahead no no you're good man dude it's like we have when those moments are just great i actually have another oh you get a gold pipe again Actually, I have another crazy thing in the doctor tour of um, was it last? Yeah, I guess last year when they added, did they add, they had Doctor Mario and Doctor Luigi? That was last year, right? Yeah, that was a while ago. That might have even been yeah, twenty twenty one. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, it might have, oh, um, oh wow. So well, whenever it was, um, I remember I pulled on the first. I was like, let me just do a ten pull. I did a ten pull on Doctor Mario's pipe, and Doctor Luigi was weak too, and I got Doctor Luigi. Oh man, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was just super luck because like you know there was like that slim chance yeah chance yeah, that yeah. he could come up and i got him like so luck i remember i was like whoa i was like wait is this dr luigi's pipe and i looked and i was like yo i just got super lucky that is so amazing man <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i mean you know, I, I, good, I, I love those free you know remember we got like two or three free yes oh dude <laughs> whoa that's, that's, that's amazing that's never wow. happened to me before. I've never got the 45 rubies yet. Really? Wow. No, okay. Never, um, I've, this is probably my third or fourth time. Really? Yeah. So oh, maybe yeah. maybe I have the luck. <laughs> I, dude, I think you do, man. You got better luck than me from these video, from what these pipes are showing. That's and that great. was the first pull. Let's see if there's anything else good in there. Or is it just going to be filled with these red tickets now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. That's good. I am, I, I'm always happy with get item tickets, too. Yeah, I mean, I've I got like 700 you, now. But... So. Oh, 700 you have? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. I, I use so many. Um, I remember I was down to like 60 last tour because uh, I just oh, I wow. just enjoy yeah I just enjoy playing like um like tracks as if I'm going for like top 100. I remember like like I could probably get top 100 like every tour if I grinded. But um, it just takes too long. But there are tracks that I enjoy more than others, so I, I try to get like the highest score I could on them. And I just burn through my item tickets, bro. Especially rank yeah, too. I just burn through them. So yeah. man, I was. I, I had a clutch play on Singapore last week. I used someone in my stream was saying use a ticket, f- like at the start of Singapore, um, with Giant Banana. And so I did it right at the start, and I did it on my free to play account, and um, got a Giant Banana frenzy immediately, like in like the wow. first three three runs, and that was insane. So that's a that's a um, that's a pretty good strat, depending if the item box is quite far out, that and you've got heaps mm-hmm. of item tickets to burn. Um, so yes, to be able to, it's been so good connecting with you today man i I've, I've, this is great um it's been great collabing with you i know we've been wanting to do this for a long time so thanks for coming on guys and um guys if you want to thank me uh and thank sergeant piano for this video go over to his channel and make sure to hit subscribe if you want some um some unhinged uh reactions to the new <laughs> tours rank loadouts um and lots of personality which we love man um go and subscribe yes. to his channel so i'll link down below um go check it out guys and sergeant pieta um i'll let you finish it out with with some fun Dude, words i appreciate you having me brother uh, we definitely gotta do this again man um you know dude you're cool as hell man i appreciate all the respect you give me and this was fun man for sure this is fun to do all the pipe pulls and just to talk about the game um it's fun to talk about it 
with somebody who's on like a similar uh level as me you know what i mean like knowledge of the game um so it's cool man I, and i really appreciate you having me on once again and yeah guys subscribe to matt aldridge the man um puts out some good content and uh yeah that's it man i appreciate it thanks man all mm. right that's it guys have a great week and we'll see you in the tour reaction bye-bye